Period, other side. Yeah. Period. What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, just go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on those bells. Today, we are back with a new slay, y'all, and I know y'all been kind of waiting on this video. That's a few videos y'all waiting on, but before we get to the video scheduled <laughs> for Black Friday, um, I will be dropping some slays in between that time, okay? And today's hair is provided by uh, Asher Mary Hair, and this is a 26 inch 13 by four lace frontal wig deep wave, okay? Deep wave, deep wave, deep wave, full 13 by four uh, lace frontal, which is full parting space, like a regular frontal from ear to ear, not a lace front where you don't really have no parting space on the side, okay? And today's model is Cousin Brittany, period. So, um. I went ahead and I bleached the knots on this wig. I plucked it and everything. Y'all seen the unboxing. Y'all seen what came in a little package. And today will be a start to finish video. Um, I'm trying to do more start to finish because I just want to do start to finish. <laughs> okay, so I ain't no MUA, y'all, but I tried to, I did the best I could. Did Brittany a little light, little natural beat for the video, okay? And I did braid her hair down pretty small. So her wig is super, super, super flat, okay? And of course, because it's makeup on her, you wanna make sure you go in and you clean that hairline really, really good. Only where you're gonna place the wig. Try not to wipe off too, too much. And then they got a separation between lace, real skin, and makeup, okay? And, ooh, excuse me, y'all. And for that, I am using my um, lace prep, which is a 99% alcohol. And I will also be using the skin protecting as well to protect her skin. I just wanna make sure I really, you know, get her cleaned up and of course protect the skin right back on in before I do the ball cap. And I will be using the Tresemme holding spray to lay back her edges. Once they all slicked back and laid back, I will go ahead and start doing the ball cap, doing my one layer of, of adhesive. Also going in with that Tresemme holding spray, um, you know, spraying it down and everything like that. And then once we do the ball cap, of course we will begin to slay. So, for this part, I'm not going to do too much talking. I'm just pretty much, you know, let y'all just watch what I'm doing. And then when it's time to come to melt in the wig on, we will get into the slay. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It is pretty lengthy. It's about 50 minutes long, but bear with me, y'all. I'm trying to bring y'all longer videos, which means more detailed videos. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Turn on those bells because new slay series is dropping sooner than you think and uh yeah stay tuned
I will I'm um, gonna go ahead and use that I think I use level 15 palette for her uh, cap um, for this video, I will be using palettes 15 and 16. I always like to start off with 15 first for people like in my skin tone range. But because the lace is transparent, it's not HD, I definitely feel like I'm going to have to go in with that darker foundation, uh, that darker foundation, which I ended up doing anyways in this tutorial. So I was pretty much on point. But um, after I added the makeup to um, the cap, I went ahead and sprayed that cap once again with that uh, Trust Me Holding Spray just to really push the edges down like because you know sometimes it still be kind of lifted or not so melted in so that's why i'm just kind of like a new technique that i've been doing as far as my ball caps like i like to go back in and spray that hairline a second time with the trust and made to make sure the cap is really you know melted down and now i'm going to go ahead and place the wig on her head and mind y'all i didn't sew down the back of her cap as of yet because i'm actually going to sew it down um, once I sew the wig down as well, that way it's not too, 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 too tight in the back, you know, in that nape area. Because sewing the cap down on the braids, then coming back on top and sewing the wig is sometimes a lot of pressure, okay? So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and place the wig on her head. And as you can see, this lace is very, very white, actually. It looks, it don't even really seem too transparent. It really looks kind of white. So, we definitely gonna have to go in with foundation probably a couple times to really get it to melt with her skin tone and to be honest y'all like nowadays I really prefer to use like HD lace um because it's just you know less work to be honest because when you have laces that's not HD um or you know like true transparent it could be if you do not know how to make the color blend you will have the people looking real ghostly in the hairline and this 2021 and it's a big no-no for that like when we was first starting off okay we made a lot of mistakes but as there's so many youtubers that's showing you the game and it's easy for you to take a class and learn something we're not gonna do the ghost hairlines okay and that's yeah the the, the teacher of the beauties you know i'm gonna show y'all how we gonna get this thing together okay so um yeah let's get to it so with that being said, because I see how light this lace is, I think I'm going in with that level 16 palette as of now because I know, no, I think I'm still using that 15, but I'm going to go back in with that 16 later on because even with me adding this foundation on here now, I can see that it's still, you know, like too light and it's going to be too light, but we will correct that later on in the video. So just bear with me, y'all, and trust the process. So I'm just adding that foundation all on the inside and on top of her lace, and then we will go in with, I think I, I want to say I did maybe three or four layers of my lace and adhesive and I, um, you know, applied the layers and then we're going to get into melting the wig. But before I start to do my gluing, um, I hot combed that hairline back and out the way once again. That way, that will help you get a nice and neat install and you got to worry about no little flyaways all in your way. So, with that being said, I'm going to go right on in with my uh, lace and adhesive and begin to apply my layers.
so now that I got all those layers in, I'm gonna go ahead and begin to lay the wig down. And I always like to start from the center first. I always, 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 that's just always been my thing. I like to start by placing the wig where it should be in the center first, and then I work my way onto the sides. So once you get the wig where you want it, just apply some pressure with your fingertips and then have them hold um, the wig into place. And another thing I also did too before, um, did I, wait, did I do? I can't remember, but if I did it already, I think I did cut the extra lace from around the ears so the wig can lay completely flat. But if I did not do it already, guys, I will show you um, in the tutorial. But uh, once you place the wig, you just go ahead and, well, I just went ahead and blow dried it on the heat setting. And I just blow dried that for a few minutes. And then, of course, I went in with that melt belt and then tied that lace down for, um, you know, some minutes. That way it could really melt all in before we begin to cut off the extra lace. Well, I went ahead and one, cut that extra lace um, that was on the back of the wig. Because you know, sometimes the wig comes with the lace in the back. And then I went ahead and clipped the um, straps in the side of the back of the wig down. And now I'm going to sew uh, the wig down at the bottom of the braid. So I just took some needle and thread and I parted it off like through the tracks. And I'm going to stitch on that bottom braid. Um, through that little light part right there so that way when she take this out she can see where the thread is and just go ahead and cut it so I'm just gonna do a stitch from ear to ear at that bottom braid and just stitch right across that way her wig is secured down in the back and she ain't got to worry about putting her head down and her whip you know we just flip all the way to the damn edges so <laughs> um, once I go ahead and do that and that milk belt really did sit we will go ahead and remove that and of course come back on and begin to cut the extra lace and begin the real melting process of the install. As y'all can see, sometimes 
time went down we was talking about the summer walker album i know y'all can't hear the conversation but i'm just letting y'all know what y'all talk we was talking about did y'all listen to that summer walker album child Ooh, loving it <laughs> love it love it love it very relatable music can't complain with that <laughs> but nevertheless now it's time to remove that melt bell we're gonna go in and begin to raise it all all of that extra lace okay so like i mentioned before y'all i can already tell that with the foundation it was going to be a little bit lighter it still was giving you know scalp depending on the lighting but in being realistic um i knew that i needed to go back in with a darker foundation so once i finish razoring off all this extra lace using a lace glider um i am going to go ahead and um go back in with that level 15 and i'm sorry level 16 palette that darker shade and i'm going to raise it off now when i turn her to the side her side profile looks like the color tone is perfect and it's matching but forward um it looks too light so i'd like to go with that forward look because everybody you meet ain't gonna be front of side so um <laughs> try to get that lace to blend as much as possible so if you gotta go in a few times until you get that perfect blend especially because this lace was really 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 white um do what you gotta do okay so for sure um we're gonna go in with that level 16 palette and add more foundation till we get the right skin tone complexion for her lace to blend in with her skin tone so um once i raise this off i will go ahead and begin to pull down a section for the baby hairs and the, the style let's talk about the style y'all i almost forgot so the style that we're doing today is going to be three braids on the side and a top ponytail with the two little curl bang pieces now i saw this style on pinterest now listen beauties i'm so tired of doing the same styles over and over and i so i know y'all so tired of seeing the same styles over and over so i've been like pinterest crazy okay like i'm on there looking for some new new stuff to do some new styles because i'm so sick of these part down the middles and sick of these side parts and same old same old so i'm trying to get real creative okay this season so with that being said i'm going to be doing a lot of little new stuff that y'all ain't seen before or you know whatever the case is because we need some new heat to the channel i'm so tired of the same old same old y'all see i don't even drop videos back to back like that no more like because i'm just getting so bored but i'm trying to find some new stuff and i'm definitely gonna get into these colors for real for real i know i keep telling y'all that but i'm serious this season like for real and um we going i'm really gonna bring some heat especially with this new slay series that i'm dropping so um but nevertheless um yes yeah, so for this style we're gonna be doing three braids on each side which goes up into that top ponytail with the two little curl bang pieces in the front with some little you know flipped baby hairs on the sides okay no baby hairs in the middle with this look i just wanted to focus on the side baby hairs okay but um do, i'm going to uh part off the baby hair section on both sides and then once i do that i will go in of course and add that darker foundation to really get her hair to be blended and kind of section off the back from the front because um you got to make sure you have the hair cover the tracks in the back this is a lace frontal wig so you do have the lace frontal in the front and of course the tracks in the back it's not no full lace all any wig that's not a full lace has tracks okay so with that being said you always want to cover those tracks up so that's what we're going to do then we'll get into how i did the braids on both sides which is pretty simple um you know it was just something different to do so let me know what y'all think of this style down below i'm gonna try to come with better styles each tutorial that i drop or better colors yet every video every new video that i drop so um yeah that's pretty much what i'm gonna do so just stay tuned
I went ahead and sectioned off the um, back part. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start the braids on the side. And I'm just gonna do like three kind of small braids on the side. And you kind of want to braid them going in a diagonal upward, especially because you're gonna pull the ponytail up. Um, if I would have more parting space, I probably would have pulled it straight back. But because it's gonna be like a top ponytail and not like that pushback ponytail, I am gonna kind of break uh do the braids diagonally going upward okay into the ponytail so i'm just gonna make three little braids on both sides and then once i do that i will go ahead and um um add more foundation to the hairline spread and tie it down and then uh work on that top ponytail and of course baby hairs and everything like that
did that first braid because it just wasn't giving me what I wanted it to give. So once I redid that braid, here was what the three braids looks like on this side here. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing to the other side, part off diagonally and then braid the braids going upward on this other side. braids on both sides and the baby hair placement is going to be very symmetrical i'm gonna go ahead and kind of like um pull uh, well i'm gonna go ahead and pull like those two little bang like the, the two curl pieces that i will be curling i'm gonna pull those parts out and i'm gonna pull them from behind where the baby hair is going to lay not from like the center um so once i got those two parts pulled out the way um, I'm going to have her hold all of that forward because I'm going to add that darker foundation to the lace so it can blend because right now it's giving dark skin client light skin lace and it's a big no, 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 okay? <laughs> it's giving a big no, no, no. So to get it to match as perfect as possible, we're going to go with that level 16 and tap, 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 tap on in until that white lace is not showing that it's white anymore, okay? So it's plot as much as you need to get it to blend because I'd rather it be like this than what it was looking like before. And you automatically seen a difference once I started putting that foundation on it, like you noticed it immediately. So once you get all the foundation that you need, like I said, go in with that Tresemme holding spray or your holding 
whatever holding spray that you're using because they don't have to be Tresemme. Um, just make sure it's, you know, alcohol free so it does not lift your lace and then spray the hairline down and, of course, tie it down. But I'm also going to just go in really quick with the uh, Glam Wax Stick. And y'all know this is the new improved one. Um, they're bigger and much more convenient as far as on how to use it. But I'm just going to kind of um, hot comb the hair up so it's nice and smooth before I tie it down with the male belt. Just make sure you hot comb everything out really smooth to give me a step die to grab a rubber band because I ain't had no rubber band and I totally forgot we was going to need it for the style. So now that I got my rubber bands, I'm going to go ahead and begin to ponytail the top part and just try to make it as neat as possible, okay? Like, yeah, just try your hardest to make it as neat as possible. Use the wax stick, use the holding spray. And to be honest, some people even use mousse and I'm noticing that. So I think on one of these new tutorials, if I do like another ponytail look, I definitely want to use some mousse to see if the mousse works better. If y'all use the mousse method to do your ponytails like for installs on wigs, can y'all let me know down in the comments and um, let me know if y'all really like that technique better? Because I really want to give that technique a try, especially because I like trying out new things and seeing which one works best. Um, I like using the holding spray. I like using the wax stick, but it looked like that mousse be getting the job done too so i'm gonna give that uh, method out you know i'm gonna give that method a try or whatever but i'm just using holding spray and um the wax stick that i put on there before i started to do the ponytail to you know sleek it out and you know hot comb the roots out so it can be easy to pull into that ponytail but once we get the ponytail pretty much for the most part sleeked up um, I will go ahead and remove that melt belt and do the baby hairs first before doing the wraparound part and, you know, adding the mousse and everything for the curls. I will go ahead, like I said, remove that melt belt, style the baby hairs and curl those bang pieces and then do the wrap around the rubber band.
so now that um we still letting that nail bell sit i decided to just go in with the tresemme holding spray and just spray the top part behind that ponytail um so it could be like smooth down um i don't want it to be too straight so that's why i didn't really go in and try to like hot comb into the tea because i really wanted to keep the curls um you know i just hot combed it a little just to make it a little a little neat towards that top part but i'm not looking for straight roots and then the hair being super super curly because i really wanted all that fullness to come from behind the ponytail onto the sides of the wig and this wig was pretty full y'all this wig was pretty full i give it to you the wig was pretty full so um now that i did that it's time to remove that milk belt and get into the baby hairs and y'all know I've been using um, holding spray for the baby hairs recently to give me that nice, soft, but, ooh, cute. Okay, scalp. Okay, scalp. Okay, scalp. Cute. You see me? Yeah, braids is me. Scalp is here. Way better. Ooh, Lord. I think, um... <laughs> The before went after on what that looks is looking like and what it look like now. Yeah, y'all can't tell me I ain't do that. You will be a lie if you say I ain't made that thing new, okay? But, yes, now it's time to get into these baby hairs. So I'm coming out that holding spray to make them soft again. I'm going to cut them about an inch long. And, of course, I'm going to go in with my little edge brush. Not my edge brush, but my edge. My edges curler. I don't know. I'm just guessing they for edge as well. That's what I use it for. So I'm just going to cut the hair um, about an inch and then use the little tiny, tiny little edge curler. Curl the baby hairs up. Go on with that Tresemme holding spray on my edge brush and get the, you know, swooping or whatever. No exotic baby hairs today. Just pretty basic, pretty simple. And for me, like I tell y'all, for me to do my baby hairs, I like to curl them underneath. Some people curl them over. When I try to curl them upwards... I don't like it. Like it don't work for me. It, I don't. Maybe I'm. I don't know. But when I do it, I don't be feeling it. But when I do it underneath, it works so much better for me, and it gives me the baby hairs that I like. So, just do it whichever way, whether you will curl under or curl upwards. Just curl it, okay? <laughs> and then swoop your baby hairs to your perfection, okay? So, now that I got it how I want it to be, I'm gonna suit them things how I like it and how I want it to be for this style, and then we'll get into doing the other side and then curling up the bangs but uh keep watching With this style for the bang part, what I did was I razored it first and then curled it. Um, but in my next tutorial, I'm going to actually tell you why I prefer to curl it first and then cut it, okay? But for this video, I did go ahead and cut it first and then curl it. And the curls come out shorter, but it was, you know, it still was what I wanted for this look. So it was no big deal. But in a new upcoming tutorial in our new Slay series, I will explain to you why I say curl it first, then cut it, okay? But nevertheless, um, once I finish with this side, I'm just going to repeat the same exact steps to the other side.
and I went ahead and did the same thing to the other side. Y'all see I also did that wrap around as well. The style is giving, honey. Yes, period. Yes, period. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> The end of 2021 ain't gonna owe me nothing because I'm finna kill y'all back to back, baby, back to back. Like, whew, I just, I'm, I'm gonna be loving it here this season. I'm just be loving it here, especially with this new Slate series I'm about to drop. Like, yeah, it's finna be giving what it's supposed to give this season. But um, now I'm just gonna take some of my mousse, of course, from the BH Slate brand, and I'm just gonna mousse those curls up. I do not want it to be a wet look. I do not want it to be a wet look. When it's time for me to do a wet look, y'all will see the difference between my wet looks and then my just defined curls look, okay? <laughs> so, I'm just adding a little mousse to the hair to define the curls. We're going to also add it to the ponytail. I don't want a wet look, so I'm not soaking wet in the hair or anything like that or moosing it down to where it looks completely wet. I just want to define the curls, okay? So, once I get them nice and defined how I like it, that will pretty much sum up this whole look let me know what you guys think down below in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for the finished look well this is pretty much the finished look but stay tuned to the final video look i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up leave some comments share tag Ooh. okay britney girl we see you hold on wait let them get a tour right quick Period. So, yeah. thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on our new and upcoming Slay series. And stay tuned for more. Bye. See you later.